Number 16, this is 1931 S-Link Lonsand in MS65 plus red condition. Comes with green CAC label on the holder. CAC is a third-party coin authentication and grading service that evaluates coins previously certified by other reputable grading services like NGC or PCGS. CEC uses a strict evaluation process to determine whether a coin's grade assigned by another grading service is accurate and fair. If CEC believes that the coin's grade is appropriate, they affix a special CEC sticker to the coin's holder. This sticker indicates that the coin has passed their additional scrutiny and meets their standards of quality within its assigned grade. This MS65 Plus Red Gem was sold for $1,100.25 was buyer's fee. Number 15 here is 1940 Washington Quarter in PR67 Plus condition. Neatly preserved specimen with slight olive green amber and russet tone patination around the eastern rims of a verse. Strike is overall sharp and fields are void of distracting contact marks. CCAC proven proof gem ended up selling for $1,680. Number 14, 1922 Lincoln Scent with no D mint mark and strong reverse. Lincoln Scents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1922. A small number of them were manufactured from this set of dyes with a, with a D mint mark, ground of verse. This choice extremely fine representative features a problem free chocolate brown surfaces and light rub for the grade. Sold on August 14, 2023 for $2,400. Number 13 here is 1971 Lincoln Sand with double die of verse, graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. This is an easy double die of verse to spot, although perhaps not for the obvious reasons. Doubling is certainly readily evident on the word liberty, the motting God we trust, and to a lesser extent, the date. More prominent, however, is the fact that the worst is struck from a slightly misaligned die with the result that it appears to be somewhat of center. Bursting with bright satiny pinkish rose luster, both sides are silky smooth, in sheen to preclude notice of even trivial distractions. Fully struck and sharp, an undeniably beautiful coin. It was sold for $3,120. Number 12, this is 1939 Lincoln Sentin PR67 Plus red condition. Extraordinary bright orange surfaces are uniformly mirrored and finished with virtually pristine appearance. Upper end gem standing for a survivor of these 13,520 pieces proof issue. It was sold for $3,055. Number 11, this is 1914 Lincoln Sand in Brown MS64 condition. Fully original and aesthetic appealing, this otherwise medium brown example reveals ample remnants of faded rose luster at direct lighting angles. The strike is sharp and the surface is fully choice in quality, which features further enhance the desirability of this key date Lincoln set. This elusive penny ended up selling for $3,525. Number 10 here is 1958 Lincoln Sentinel 67 Plus Red Condition, another CC proven outstanding gem. While the 1958 Lincoln Sentinel is not one of the key date or low mintage coins in the Lincoln Sentinel series, finding one in MS67 Plus Red Condition is still considered rare. Many coins from that era have not survived in such pristine condition, making high grade examples relatively scarce and sought after by collectors. This gem was sold for $3,055. Number 9. This is 1945 P. Jefferson Nicola MS67 Plus condition with full steps. Rich setting luster provides this high end super gem example with immediate eye appeal. Areas of toning are present on both sides, primarily at the peripheral overs, accentuating the silver center. Among the colors appearing are gold, cherry, and lime green. Importantly, this example exhibits the all-important full steps, further adding to the desirability of this gorgeous example. A few minuscule marks on the rivers do not pose a distraction. It was sold for $8,812.50.
Number eight here is 1959 Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. Unmarked surfaces are silver white in the centers with seen border rings of iridescent, jade, amber, and rose hues. Less than 40 examples of this Washington Quarter issue have achieved MS67 grade at PCGS. It was sold for $11,750. Number 7, this is 1948 Franklin Half Dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. According to NGC's enormous mintage of dollars during the war years had led to reduce production during 1946-1947, and this carried over into the new series, if not for saving of 1948p half dollars by the road, as was a custom of so many collectors and dealers at the time, this issue might have been slightly scarce. Gems are plentiful through the grade of MS65 with enough MS66 coins to satisfy more advanced collectors. The desirable designation full bell lines is available as well, but scarce in MS67 condition and higher. This specimen was sold for $12,947.62 with buyer's fee. Number 6 here is 1946 S. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Sea green, powder blue, mauve, and golden orange patina complements areas of frosted brilliance on each side. Fully struck and void of mentionable marks, it was sold for $11,400. Number 5. Moving on with this 1982 D small date scent struck on a bronze plaget. According to Stex Bauer, this error variety dates to the 1982, an important transitional year in the modern Lincoln scent series. The modified design that the mint prepared for use was a new copper-plated zinc plancher that become known in numismatic circle as a small date variety. These technical misnomer scenes as related above the letters in the word liberty and the motto in God we trust were also modified. The easiest way to identify the small date variety nonetheless is by looking at the digits in the date. On the small date variety, the digit 2 in the date is much farther from the reams than it is on the large date variety. This highly sought after penny was sold for $18,800. Number 4, this is 1955 double dye of birth scent, graded in stage 64 plus, read by PCGS. A remarkably well preserved and attractive example of this prize variety in the Lincoln scent series. Full pinkish rose luster sets this coin apart from the typical mid-state survivor with, with brown or, or at the best red and brown surfaces. Boldly struck and so smooth as to be virtually in the gem category. Doubling is boldly observed in all of burst letterings, no close inspection is required. It was sold for $19,975. Number 3, 1930D Wheat Penny in MS66 Plus Red Condition, a charming gem that sports vivid rose red luster to smooth satin surfaces, fully struck as well and a delight to behold. The 1930D has a respectable mintage of 15,804,000 pieces and it's among the more readily obtainable Denver Mint issues in early Lincoln Set series. While there are enough mid-state coins around to satisfy less discerning collectors, advanced Lincolns and specialists will be disappointed by the prevalence of poorly struck pieces among the survivors. This elusive specimen was sold for $23,500. Number 2 here is 1971 as proof Eisenhower dollar with type 1 reverse graded as PR68 deep cameo by PCGS. This coin is an original gem housed in original package from the mint is accompanied by a special box. Boasting rolling watery mirrors and sickly frosted devices, hazy sky blue patina appears on surfaces attesting to the originality of this first year of Eisenhower dollar series. It was sold for $30,550. Number 1, and this is 1942 D. Jefferson Nicolas Nemes 66 condition with full steps, highly sought after D over horizontal D variety. According to Heritage, the mint mark was initially punched into the die in a horizontal position. 
and then correct it on the immensely popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety. The FS501 is extremely difficult to locate in high grade and mid state examples always command extraordinary premiums. The present coin is a spectacular premium gem with sharply detailed design elements and show full step definition on Monticello. The punch mint mark is easily detected. The well preserved surface is radiate satin mint luster under delicate shades of champagne toning. It fetched a sum of $31,725. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Have a nice day.